Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Sling VBS virus. This virus is fairly simplistic and straightforward, but does have the capability to be very destructive. So we are going to take a look at this today. If we take a look at the source code, first thing we see is it's actually called Kling, written by Zed. However, in about the mid 90s, a bunch of antivirus companies got together and figured it wasn't good to give virus authors notoriety by naming the viruses after what the virus authors wanted to call it. So they always like to change it up slightly, which is why you now get stuff like sling instead of cling. So the majority of this virus is just checking every file on the drive and on all attached network drives to see if they are VBS or VBE extensions, which it will then infect if it doesn't start with VBS cling by Z. So as an example, I've got an uninfected, very complicated script I wrote here called cool. When you run it, the end result is it says yo and as you can see it took me hours to write this so hopefully cling i mean sling does not mess with it too much all right let's get out of cool and let's go ahead and run sling nothing well really it's just that fast let's take a look and see what we got so doesn't look that different However, when Sling infects it, it adds a whole bunch of blank lines, which we now scroll down to see, we are infected with the Sling VBS virus. Careful observers may have noted that there is a payload that is scheduled for the 16th of June or July. So here we are, we are in July. And if we take a look real quick, we'll see. So day now is 16 and month is six or seven. Then it sets our payload variable to one, which it will then execute the next time we run it, which deletes every file on the drive that's not VBS or VBE. Let's do it. Did we do it? Is the system dead? We seem to be doing all right. There's some stuff gone. Not a whole lot. What happened to it? While the deletion of these files may be pretty damaging to the system overall, we didn't lose a whole lot of data, as whenever Sling runs into a file that's in use and cannot be deleted, the script immediately crashes. If we take a look real quick at the top of the source code, you'll often see this in a whole lot of VBS viruses and worms, on error resume next, which pretty much tells us that whenever we hit an error, just go to the next line of code. So sling runs into this error, immediately jumps to the next line of code, which is the end of the file, and then it's done. So I have actually rewritten it slightly to look for a whole bunch of files that are in use and skip over them if it finds them. So since error handling on VBS is pretty basic, this is the best I could do. But let's bring this up. We'll make this real small so we can just see a bunch of stuff just disappear. Here we go. Sling 2.0 variant B written by Dan. Oh, I forgot. It tells you all the ones that it can't delete. So here we go. Eventually it'll stop. Enter, enter, enter. Go, 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 go. Click, click, click. Let's go. Wait, this is the one it is deleting, I believe. Uh oh, I saw hearts in there. Uh oh, there goes our backgrounds. Oh, whoa. I have a feeling the system's not going to be usable for very long after this. We're still going. Now, if I hadn't had this message box popping up, uh, this would have been done and over with in about a second. So I guess we're just kind of artificially inflating the video length now. It's like I'm a real YouTuber. Oh, see, uh, we had a crash there because on my edited copy, I've commented out on error resume next. So whenever it hits an error, it will just, just crap out and die. So these are the ones that I can't delete because they're in use. There we go. So whenever we hit one that's in use, we get a permission denied error and it just quits. 
but since I added all those ones that should not be attempted to be deleted, we are left with our cool script. Awesome, cool survived because once again, Sling does not attempt to delete any other fellow VBS scripts. I guess VBS scripts is a little redundant, isn't it? Oh well. Anyway, let's try and restart. I have a feeling this probably will not go well. We don't get to see the gateway a lot, so I guess we'll watch it boot. It's not nearly as exciting as the Packard Bell seek test. Oops, I left the CD in there, so uh, let's boot from the hard disk. Hey, there we go. Windows is, of course, corrupted because we deleted almost everything out of the Windows folder. So we will need to reinstall the operating system. If I were to sit there and continue listing files that should not be deleted, eventually you would start getting to user files and your own data to be deleted, which would be bad. But that's a lot more effort than I'm willing to put in, especially for a simple video like this one. And that is about it for the Sling VBS virus. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.